don't mind me if I look ugly. My eyelashes are still from yesterday. <laughs> I love the honesty within me. Some bitches will lie and be like, oh, my, 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 my mascara is just real clumpy today. Nah, bitch, this shit is from straight up yesterday, last night. Did not feel like taking it off. Um, slept real careful. I just wiped it off and around my eyes. I'm like, I woke up late for class. I need to just hurry up and get up and get there. Because I'm already 10 minutes late. So this is great. This is cute. Yesterday, I came back to school. Update. Back at school. Spring break is over. Um, it was only a week. And no, I did not vlog that much over spring break because I wanted a break. So tired. I enjoy time with my boyfriend, Deontay. I did upload that vlog over spring break, though. And I did. I do have something else to upload. So you guys are good to see a little bit of my spring break. But um, yeah, I'm actually, boom, getting ready to walk in to the building that my class is in. But quick update, like I said, left, got up at 6.30 yesterday in the morning, took Deontay to work at 9 after picking Shivana up. Then we went to go pick up Amy in Pittsburgh. Come on, door. Door. I'm gonna go pick up Amy. Then we got to school around four. And then after that, I went to sleep. <laughs> then I woke up. Deontay called me. I chilled with Shay for a little while. Me and Deontay talked for a little while. And then I was out. And I was out until like 10 45. Then they have class at 11. I'm just like, oh my god, what the fuck? And then the doors open. She gonna act all funny at this. She might not let me in the class, y'all. If she don't let me in the class, I'm going, uh, I'm going back tomorrow. Oh, God, Tom, that's annoying. I hate that. Ah, oh, so annoying. Oh, yes, and she's definitely having class. All right, we're gonna be real, real, real quiet, y'all, because I'm gonna let y'all know something right now. Come on, door. Come on, door. Thank you. Um, listen, listen, I'm skipping class. <laughs> I, can't. I don't feel like knocking on the door. I don't feel like walking in and acting like I did what I was supposed to do over the break. I don't feel like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my ass. I'm going to come up with an excuse for my teacher. Because I'm a very good student. I, I'm sorry y'all if the world is. Because I really hope that the wind isn't like fucking with the microphone. I be hate when that happens. <sighs> Alright, either way, I feel like this is chill enough. I just don't feel like it right now. I'm gonna go take her. I don't have class at one. I have her again at two. So I don't know if that means I have to skip my two o'clock because I didn't go to my eleven o'clock. I don't know. But now I'm gonna go to my two o'clock. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not gonna go. Because it doesn't make sense. Why would I not? Why, why would I go? Why would I miss one of my teacher's classes? But I have her in two classes. So why would I miss one and then go to the other teacher's pick up on stuff like that? So this bag just got instantly happy. But, oh my God, I can't. I can't. Oh, it's the bag and the camera. Hold on. Okay. I got you. I got your arm. <laughs> Here's my disclaimer. Please, please, this is not the video to go off in the comments about me skipping class. This is the thing about college. In your syllabus, you get so many classes that you are allowed to miss. I will repeat that. In college, you get so many classes that you are allowed to miss meaning be absent. So, in that, I haven't met my quota with this class, or any of my classes. So, therefore, I can miss class today. So, just the same, this is the same exact way people be like, oh, I'm just gonna call off work today. No, you should have made you some money. This is like a paid day at work. I don't get, I, I don't get penalized for it, so. Just please don't write nothing in my comments because this is when I will have an attitude. Because it's just like, I feel like I'm telling you, I'm 
not gonna get in trouble. It's not gonna affect anything. They were actually going over the assignment that I didn't do over the break, so that would be pretty dumb if I'm about to make an excuse so that I can do it and get the grade. You know? Hope my teacher doesn't watch this. <laughs> hey, Chelsea Boo! One of those. You what? Okay, yes. You like it? You Thank you, Boo! <laughs> I'm out here doing bad stuff, though. I'm telling them to skip class. <laughs> but um, I'm not telling y'all to skip class. Do not skip class. Don't ever skip class. Be prepared for class. But I will say that if you know the rules and regulations of your class, and you know that you didn't do something you were supposed to do, and you know that it's a way that you can still get the grade, I'm, I'm one for it. Always go for the grade. Guys, so I'm at the mail room. I'm getting ready to use my student ID to get my packages. I know I have a humidifier here for like my sinuses, and my asthma and stuff, but I might have, I don't know, I might have other, I don't know. I should only have the humidifier. Then I need to check my mailbox. And then I need to go to the library and do a lot of work. So. Hi. Hey. Yes. How was your break? I'm busy. That's good. My break was like, I tried so hard to stay chill. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, I tried so hard to stay chill and not do too much. <laughs> when we were here, I stopped. Oh, yeah. This room was filled up. Mm hmm. <laughs> it was everybody's packages. Yeah, yeah. This is our mail room, guys. And like, over breaks and stuff, like, it fills up like all the way. Because everybody's stuff that's coming, nobody's here to pick up their packages and stuff. So, yeah. Stuff definitely plays right on up. There's my package right there um, in the box. That's probably my humidifier. It should be all I have. Hey. I don't know who that was, but um, they called my name. So, but yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now. So I got my packages, niggas, and I got a bunch of magazines, yo. Y'all see these, all of these magazines? I forgot to come pick up all my subscriptions from like two months. So now I just got all of these magazines, which I'm probably still gonna go through and read, but oh, I had an envelope in here too I need to be careful about. So this, but yeah. Show you my shades, Annie. Okay. Uh, there you go, you know, the girl, the girl eating the burger. Oh God, guys, it feels so good outside, but it's like the wind is blowing all kinds of yeah, crazy. It's blowing her hair everywhere. It's blowing her hair everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get back um, to the library, I guess. <laughs> until four o'clock to get like seven assignments done. As you can see, I um, I changed my place of study. I'm still, in, I'm still in the library, but I'm just in a different part. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm having like a complete fucking panic attack trying to take these quizzes. Um, don't mind if I'm dark. Like if I look dark, I mean, I'm just, I just wanted to just tell y'all how stressed I am right now. And I cannot find the answers in this book. It took me forever just to, every time I have to take these online quizzes, it takes me forever to log in. Like, every time I forget my stuff. But, <sighs> yeah, I'm just like, I just continue to keep looking down on this path. I just keep watching people walk back and forth, which is probably really weird. But I don't care. Like, I've resulted to looking in the back of the book for answers, y'all. Like, <laughs> listen. Read y'all fucking textbooks. Do not 
do not think that you're just gonna take the quiz and just look at the book like mm -mm -mm, maybe read your textbooks it don't matter if it's open book like y'all see i'm at i'm taking this quiz with my book it's still hard buddy like it's no joke this is so annoying so annoying so Hi guys, so I just finished my quiz. On one of my quizzes, I got a C plus. <laughs> and on another one, I got a B plus. Um, those are for a couple of reasons that we're gonna talk about really quickly before I head to my next class. Um, don't mind me if I look a mess, y'all, cause today was like a get your life back type of day. So, um, basically I had tests in my comp theory class and I'm going to be talking kind of fast because I don't want my battery to die because it's been a long day already. But uh, basically I just want to give some test taking tips because tests are some of the most important things that you'll do in college and they really count and they're hard and they're always going to be hard and they're never going to get easy. Um, first thing to remember that just because a quiz or a test is take home does not mean that it is going to be easy and you're going to be able just to zoom through it and that you don't need to study the chapter or the material that the test is on. You really need to study and you really, 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 really need to make sure that you are like fully prepared to even take a take home quiz or test. Of course, you want to make sure that you're prepared to take a, a quiz or test that is like in class because you can't, you don't want to prepare to cheat. I hope that's not the goal for you, but shouldn't be. A few more things. Become very familiar with the index and glossary in your book, which will be like, this is my max com, my com theory book. Um, become very, very familiar with the index and table of contents and the glossary. Because when you're taking like take home tests and take home quizzes, if you didn't read the material like you were supposed to, it'll kind of help you navigate where exactly the materials are. So you can kind of find the keywords in the questions and maybe even some of the multiple choice answers and just look them up in your glossary, look them up in your index, go to the page and it'll hopefully lead you in the right path of like where to look for that answer. That'll help you and it'll also save time, especially if your test and quizzes are timed because sometimes when you have um, take home tests and things unless they're written and most of the time mostly everything's like electronic or online so a lot of quizzes are like timed so you have an hour you have 30 minutes exactly to take your quiz or your test so that doesn't make it easy um, I think the biggest tip I can give right now is to study and to prepare and to be ready to take your quiz <laughs> or your test because I wasn't ready today and that's why on one test I got a C plus and one test I got a B plus um, one 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 test I'm proud of the grade and the other one I feel like I could have done way better um, I'm only proud of the B plus which not to say I wouldn't be proud of B plus because I'm not the straight A student out here but I feel like if I could get a B plus by starting the test and then opening the book for the first time to that part of the book to like take the test and not knowing any information beforehand and I got a B plus I could have got an A plus same thing goes for the C plus that could have been a B plus or an A like I just I'm proud of it because, I mean, it's a B plus, but I'm kind of not proud of it because it's like if I would have studied and would have been more familiar with the material, I would have gotten, I would have easily gotten an A plus. And was saying that, you know, you, you live and you learn and you just do what you're doing. And I'm just out here doing, doing me. <laughs> so I'm here to head to my four o'clock class, which I still don't know the name of it. It's like media strategies and publishing, but I call it my blogging class because it's taught through the lens of blogging. So I'm going to run there because I'm a little bit late trying to record this video for you guys and um, just trying to finish my quizzes and make sure that all my stuff is together. So deuces. <laughs> No, I'm going to talk to you guys probably I have class at four and I have I have four to six o'clock and a six to nine o'clock. So I will talk to you guys either like if I get a chance in between my classes, boom. But if I don't, I guess I will talk to you guys when I get out of my six o'clock. And <laughs> it's not till nine, so it's gonna be all dark outside. Hi 
Hi guys. So I am at, um, what's the name of this place? Sakura Hibachi and Sushi. Whatever. It's like right up the street from my school. Me and my mom came in here one time, but we didn't eat here. Um, it's really cute in here. I'll show it to you guys. They have like the little pink things and stuff over there. And um, it's kind of empty, but like, I guess I don't really want to... I don't really want to like, get in people's privacy just to dinner time or whatever, but it's like more people on the other side of the restaurant, which is a smart way to put it because it's kind of chillier over here. It's more of a breeze, but um, I have somebody staring at me. That's where my eyes went. So, um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Quick update though. So I went to my four o'clock class. All great. All good in the hood. Went to my six o'clock class. Tell me why the whole class argued with the teacher the whole time. Like all of us. And I took part. I helped argue. I helped argue. This is the same teacher, which if y'all go back on my channel, y'all will find a rant about a teacher that just was terrible at teaching, no teaching experience. It's her first time teaching and she just chose to come to college to try to do it and be a professor with no teaching experience. Okay, whatever. But, um, yeah, so basically I'm just, like, I'm at a loss with what I'm going to do with that class because I'm not about to withdraw because I already withdraw from enough classes and I'm just about to try to do our plan is to get a petition together to get her out of the classroom because it's not the fact that we don't want to do the it's just we haven't had any classes like we didn't have enough classes like we had all these snowstorms and martin luther king days on a monday like all of this stuff was the we only we've only had one class this whole semester and midterms are next week and she gonna try to give us all these assignments and midterm have us write a case study paper it's a law and ethics class it's a media law and ethics class law is not an easy thing to understand so you can't just send out a bunch of emails saying oh do this do that do this this is not an online course i paid and registered for an in-class course so that i can be taught i can get the book read the information but be taught discussed with you know broken down the information can be broken down like that's what the class is for if this was an online class then i wouldn't have reason to complain and i would have never missed a class because we wouldn't have in-class sessions hello so that's just where I'm at with it now. It's just like she's the and, the and the teacher, you can tell she doesn't really care. She's a young teacher. She'd rather go tit for tat than to try to accommodate like all of the days that we've missed. We've literally only had one class and she's trying to make us take she's trying to make us write a case study, take quizzes on chapters one through eight. Like if I would have paid for an online class, this would have been alright. But it's not. So it's not alright. It's not cool. Like I, I don't like stuff like this and it's just like so basically we're gonna petition together and we're gonna give it to the Dean and the other um, We're gonna sign it. Um, it's a little letter in the front of it and we're gonna just hand it out, you know Because to me you shouldn't you, you shouldn't want to look like shit in front of your peers And if you don't care then this isn't a place for you like teaching is such an important thing because it, it molds the leaders of tomorrow So how are you just gonna like BS it like no, we're gonna hold you accountable so that's what's going on and I'm here I just ordered some fried calamari because I'm hungry because I miss class I missed that class I, I mean I missed the cab to go to class because the cab is only open for dinner from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. I mean 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. so I have class from 4 to 6 and then 6 to 6 50 so of course I missed the cab so I'm hungry and yes my arm is hurting but I'm chilling here and I feel like I'm being loud now so I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get back to school Mm. Guys, I got my calamari and I'm happy and I'm about to be on my way back to school, 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 school. Hey guys, so I'm back in my room with my calamari, which is fried octopus. It's cute or whatever. It's good. I love it. Um, but yes. I am, I'm in my room, I'm about to eat this calamari, take a shower, and chillax until I fall asleep, talk to my man, and you know, just enjoy the rest of my evening, so... I will see y'all in my next vlog, which, you know, it's going to be quite cry. Make sure you like, comment below, because, you know, today was kind of a busy day. And, um, 
subscribe if you want more vlogs. So, deuces. So I missed the very end. I got all the way, all the way to the court where they were in the um, where they were in the police department. Way past the police department. Though. He was coming up the stairs. <laughs> I in the guy.